Welcome to the Unstuck Podcast. I'm your host, Drew Koss. And today, the question that sits on the head of many, how do I actually overcome this anxiety of actually posting on social media? I'm glad you're here. I have some answers for you and some practical solutions that will help you actually go post today. Now, if you're like many people, you have an archive probably filled with videos. You have an archive filled with photos, screenshots of things you want to try and do, and they're just sitting there. My question is, why is it just sitting there? And I'm not asking you that question in judgment, but I'm asking you the question so you could see why is it just sitting there? Are you nervous of what someone's going to say? Are you nervous that the post is not going to be perfect? Are you nervous that it's not going to get attention? If that's you, let's unpack this. So the first thing I usually teach people who either I coach or I do the content for them, uh, more so the coaching people, is what is the worst thing that could happen if you post? Like, What's the worst thing that could happen? Probably no one likes it. Okay. Most of the time, you're probably not posting content where it's at a point where you're getting flagged. You're probably not doing that. But if the worst thing is no one likes it, what does that say to you? That's what we really want to look at and unpack. Because if it says to you that you're a failure that no one likes you, that no one appreciates your product or service, then that is the problem because that could be so far from the truth. When we look at social media and we look at um, media in general, people have media put in front of their face every day, all day, like all day. If you look at your um, time when you're scrolling or looking at TV there's so much happening and so much things fighting for your attention that sometimes you can be overlooking something and not even intentionally doing it. So when I tell people, like, if no one likes your post, it doesn't mean that they purposely sat there, looked at it, read it and said, I do not like this. It's probably not happening. They probably scrolling too fast or they're just doing other things. There's so much things fighting for our attention, kids, spouses, sports all things. If the worst thing that happens is no one likes it and you think that they don't like your product or your service or you, that's more so something you probably want to bring to like a therapist. Uh, that's probably some rejection or an abandonment, which is not a content problem. It's more so somehow how you see yourself. If you can think about fixing that, you'll realize that you might be overthinking this whole process. And that's where the anxiety comes from. I got to get it perfect. This is the second part. There is no perfect post. Why? There's no perfect people. So there can never be a perfect post. It could be a post that you prefer or you think is better than others in your eyes. But if you ask somebody else, they're going to hate it. Someone can look at me right now and say, he should have a bald head. He should not be speaking. He should not have a red uh, mic cover. He should have a green one. There, there's never going to be a perfect post. If you can throw that idea away and realize I'm just doing this stuff to give solutions to my customers. If I'm a business owner is who I'm talking to, then the pressure would leave because it's not about a perfect post. There's no perfect post because there's no perfect people. Now, what you can do is get better at how you post or how it looks when you post. Or nowadays, I honestly say, if you can just turn the camera on and record how your solution helps somebody or give them some real value. Yes, the presentation could be cool, but they're really going to go for the answer that you gave them, the solution that you gave them. I always use the analogy. If you are drowning. You probably don't care what the person looks like who's trying to help you. You just want to get out. You just want to get a solution. Now, the third the third part is usually after you've figured out it's your own anxiety and being and overthinking about not posting and then having the perfect post. Number three is just pulling the trigger, just putting the post out there. 
you want to think if you never start or if you never consistently do it, you're never going to get better. So if you're thinking that I got to wait until I get good to start posting, it's never going to happen. You got to start now and allow yourself to grow. I always say the posts that I had years ago, if you saw those now, you would probably be like, what in the world was he doing? And when I see those posts, I think, what in the world was I doing? But I also think now, if I'm able to coach people and have clients, that means I got better at it. And someone saw me get better at it. But I had to just do the groundwork. So those are my three things. Now, let's lay it out what you actually can do. I never want to give you a lot of information and not give you some tangible steps. Most of my clients, I'm not going to lie to you. They're like, Drew. We don't want to go through all of these steps. Can we just hire you to do do it for us? Absolutely. You can do that. That costs a little bit more money than me coaching you, but it's absolutely a problem that we solve. And we usually solve it for business owners who are really, really busy. They know they need this part in their business, but they don't want to focus on doing it themselves. So they hire out. Totally fine. For those who are here and who are thinking about getting coached by me or just getting some information today that you can actually do. The first step is to think instead of thinking that they may not like it, think about one person who will whose life will get worse if they don't get my solution. So let's say I'm a, I'm a content coach. Let's think if I don't give them a clear way to create the content, right, or encourage them to create the content, their business is going to go under. That's going to affect their lives. So now I'm only thinking about one person, not a thousand. This is why when people say, I don't have a big audience, I just have 200 followers. I always say, imagine 200 people sitting in your living room. Massive, right? Don't think about 10K. Think about who's in front of you now. So I think now hard. If I don't put this out because of my own insecurities and fears, that person won't get helped. And that person is supposed to get helped by me. So number one, think about the person that can use your content and go post something. Like, don't go wait 10 more days or three more hours. Go post something. If you have a draft box, go post it. I don't even care if there's no captions on it right now. Just post it because we want to start building that muscle. The second thing you can do to take action is have an accountability partner, right? Tell this person, hey, I need to post three times this week. And if I don't, I owe you $25. Or I would say, if it's someone you trust, give them the $25 And tell them, do not give me the money back until I have posted three times. I'll screenshot each time. This way, it's now you're accountable. And now you're probably not going to just skip over it or you're going to keep losing money. The third thing I would do if I wanted to take action is I would set up a month. Right? People have done like a 30-30 challenge where a post a day, a video a day. I like those. I like consistency. But I would say if that scares you too much, three posts a week for a month. And then the next month, four posts a week. You have to think if your brand and your solution that you offer people is something that's going to help them, why wouldn't you want people to see that? If people are fighting for uh, attention on social media every day with thousands of other things they could be doing or thousands of other posts and um feeds why wouldn't you want to post every day right if it wears you out don't do that just start off with three so first one you're going to think about who is the person that life will get better if i actually do this number two you're going to think about uh have an accountability partner where you guys partner up i'm going to give you 25 dollars. you don't give me this money back until i get those three posts and number three i would strongly I would strongly consider either like a 30, 30 challenge or a challenge where I post three times a week. Now I'm, I'm biased. (laughs) I'm going to say join my coaching program where I literally each week give you the hooks, the captions. You can change those to captions, the hashtags and prompts on the type of video or post you can put out. And this takes away a lot of the headache. Right. It gives you a blueprint. You can just follow that. You'll probably crush it a lot easier. Either way, I want you to go be great. 
and go touch your corner of the world. Be good, guys. Be great.